Hey there, guys! What's up? Um, welcome to War of Thunder! Yes! Um, I'm not gonna be doing a review on this, but I just wanna show you guys that uh, on what graphics can this game run on an Intel HD graphic card. Uh, mine's Intel HD 3000 or the i3 one. Uh, this is absolutely free on Steam, so I thought I might as well do it on my old computer and show it to you because, yeah, it has some pretty good graphics when, you know, uh, you know, when, uh, when it's all on low. So, to battle! Yay! Okay, so this is an air, uh, you know, a plane shooter, pretty awesome. I'm gonna do a review on it later. But yeah, I just wanna show you this, so. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the graphics. It looks amazing. I'm using my joy uh, joystick. Yeah, now, I, now I'm not gonna talk while this. I'm gonna talk about my GTA 5 experience. So if you guys wanna, you know, uh, like this is how these, these are the graphics so you guys can check it out I'm getting about 24 25 25 frames while recording with fraps but without fraps I'm getting about uh, 35 frames approximately so yeah and let's talk about GTA 5 so well I finished off GTA 5 like uh, yesterday night uh, I am a little bit uh, disappointed but or oh, not too disappointed actually but it was quite good you know the story was pretty awesome I mean it was fun to play etc etc so that was pretty cool but the thing I kind of felt that was you know <clears throat> uh, the thing that uh, the thing the game lacked was the remembrance thing like GTA San Andreas is still remembered right now I, I I'm pretty sure majority of you guys uh, who have played the game as soon as the game started, you were like, "Ah, oh, this is this is like this is uh, this is exactly like San Andreas. This is Los Santos that was there in San Andreas. You guys must have remembered it. That's because the game actually was pretty awesome, San Andreas. But this game was okay. I mean, it was quite amazing. It was frankly superb, but not as good as San. It won't be remembered like San Andreas got. Okay, sorry, it won't be remembered like San Andreas because it wasn't, you know." that type of game uh, but apart from that the game was good now some of the ups and downs I'm gonna be talking about the ups and downs of the game um, well yeah so let's begin uh, shall we alright so the very first thing I thought about the game that was awesome was the physics uh, and the physics engine they use for the running, jumping, and all. It was pretty amazing. It was quite funny, you know. There is that one play, one part where you jump, and uh, you jump onto a wall, and you just hit it and fall back. That was pretty. That was those are the small details I really liked about the engine. Uh, that was pretty good. The next thing I liked about it is the graphics. The city is beautiful, and it's hu quite huge. Well, I tried going for, uh, you know, I did go on an expedition trying to find out uh, places that were there in San Andreas, like the uh, LSPD police station at, uh, what was that place again? Uh, you know, there was an LSPD police station. I was trying to search for that, but unfortunately I couldn't find, the, yeah, Perishing Square. Yeah, I remember the, all the places pretty much. I'm 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 freaking hardcore San Andreas player, you know. I still play it, it's pretty fun. It's not just multiplayer actually play, not the game anymore, but yeah, so Perishing Square, I did go, I did find the fountain and uh, you know, a few other things, that's where the, in one of the missions there is a drug guy, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to spoil the game for you, so chill, uh, so I did go, but there is, it's not like the, uh, you know, San Andreas when there are a lot of changes, eh, which is not bad, which I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, I mean, I expected it to be pretty much the same. Only thing a little bit better. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not saying it's bad to have a change, but I mean, uh, yeah, it, it did have quite a lot of change, which is not disappointing. It is good, but then yeah, for me it was kind of disappointing because I was pretty much you know trying to find the uh, uh, actual San Andreas thingy, you know, actual San Andreas map. Which was in there, so it's all right. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, the next thing I, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, these guys shooting. All right. The next thing I kind of liked about the game, oh shit, I'm getting shot at heavily, but I'm not dying. Yeah, sorry. The next thing I kind of I really liked about the game 
was uh, basically the uh, characters. The characters were amazing. Frank and uh, Frank uh, and uh, Trevor, as well as Michael, these three guys were superb. My personal favorite is actually Trevor and Frank. Uh, Michael is pretty good, but I kind of feel bad for Michael. You know, Michael. Am I saying yeah? Am I saying it right? Yes, Michael. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name, so I feel kind of bad for him because of his family. This thing. So I'm um, not. Uh, yeah, I do. His missions are superb, but I still prefer Franklin and uh, Trevor over Michael. Uh, though he, though Michael has that amazing bank robbery mission, but yeah, uh, that's just my, you know, my uh, opinion. Maybe yours could change, so don't go raging around in the comment section. The thing I didn't like was that uh, they killed Johnny from the Lost MC, <laughs> which was kind of uh, shocking. Oh my God, I'm I'm not getting shot, but there are like freaking gajillion bullets flying right past me. All right, uh, the death of Johnny in the start in the entrance of Trevor, the character Trevor, that was kind of uh, you know where he where Trevor was <clears throat> his girlfriend, you know. Uh, so that was kind of disappointing that Johnny dies in the game. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Oh come on. Shit. All right, which is kind of sad, but oh come on, bad connection. Are you kidding me? All right. Um, yeah, apart from that, everything was quite well. I mean, it was kind of sad. I was, I was a bit pissed out about it, but nevertheless, or no problem. So, Johnny, uh, oh shit, I just, never mind. I'm gonna put spoiler alert in the, on the title, so if you guys wanna watch, watch it. So, Johnny dies, uh, in the game, uh, in the starting where of, when, when Trevor's being introduced, so that kind of sucked. And the next thing I kind of, <coughs> sorry, the next thing I kind of disliked was, we were demolishing Grove Streets. In one mission, um, well, uh, Trevor, what's the other guy's name? I forgot uh, the other guy's name. And one, Lamar, yeah. Trevor, Lamar, and Franklin uh, actually demolished Grove Streets. Like, mad. I mean, seriously. This screw oh, crap, what did I press? They literally screwed up Grove Street in that mission. Uh, which was again kind of because Grove Street was my favorite family or faction or whatever you want to call them. So I was pretty pissed at that. But nevertheless, it was fun, and I'm not that crap type of guy who, you know, freaking rages for all these small, small things. But yeah, that was kind of disappointing and sad. But yeah, but the game was fun. I'm gonna try to land this baby right now. Uh, up the next thing I thought was kind of poopy. One sec. I'll, yeah, was the driving. God. Damn, the driving was oh pull up pull up pull up okay the, oh shit okay the driving was pretty good but also pretty bad I mean you know all that slow mo thing was kind of uh, unnecessarily unnecessary it kind of spoiled the uh, GTA uh, you know mood you can say you know where you basically go slow mo and stuff that was unnecessary obviously so. Well, that was kind of disappointing. They shouldn't have actually put that, you know, while driving Frank. Who, who the hell? Wait, you know, of uh, adding the slow mo thing and all. That was kind of stupid, but nevertheless, it was fun. So that was a kind of a downer. Uh, the next thing I really loved about the game was the fact that you, you know, what the hell? What? What? Waiting for results? All right. The next. Sorry. All right. The game got over. So. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, the be next thing I really liked about the game was how the story actually picked up, how they actually introduced characters. That was amazing and that was superb. And how they actually got, you know, how they actually brought in um, different characters and stuff, you know. Alright, okay. Uh, I got, I want to play it, so cool. Yeah, how they introduced characters and made the characters meet each other. That was pretty amazing and quite fantastic. Uh, so that, I like that a lot. Uh, the next thing I really liked was that they brought in dogs, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I don't know, I'll put a picture on the screen. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, seriously, that happened. I'm not lying. There were dog to dog. <laughs> you know, you guys can see it pretty much. 
So that was there. That was pretty interesting in between when they put that. So I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> they did a terrific job on that. <laughs> and the best part is you get to actually play as the dog in one of the levels, you know. Uh, to find Lum... I'm not quite sure. To find another dude... Uh, I'm not quite sure what his name was, but you could actually uh, you had to you had to you know go you need you had to play as a dog, which was pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing uh, I really disliked about the game is it's so short. I finished the game in two days, roughly two days, which was very short, you know, for a GTA game. I mean, I think it's the smallest GTA game ever. Even GTA 4 wasn't this uh, short, you know, if you know what I mean, right? As you guys can see, I'm in 27 frames. Uh, that is about 40 frames without recording so that's pretty good for it and yeah everything is put on low uh, so yeah battle bro yeah so that was kind of disappointing that it was very short uh, but I really liked the game a lot and I would and I would probably probably give the game a 9.5 out of 10 whereas I would give San Andreas a 10 on 10 I mean serious that was that was a beauty that's the definition of beauty ladies and gentlemen San Andreas was the definition uh, apart from that, everything was cool. Yeah, there were a few glitches and bugs, but that's nothing to whine about. Every game has that, and I'm not that kind of guy who cries about stuff, you know. So, I'm, I'm quite okay with that. Then, well, what else wanna, I want to talk about? Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Okay. Oh, snap, that was close, I mean, seriously. Um, what else I want to talk about? Yeah, uh... Yeah, the one thing I really loved what Rockstar did was uh, basically they actually put in an underground world, you know, a world under the water. That's pretty amazing. It was beautiful, the underground scenes and, you know, stuff. So I adore that. That was like one of the best features of the game. Uh, the cars also look quite beautiful. And if you guys are planning to get the game, I, I, I recommend getting it. But uh, I don't know if you guys... Uh, uh, are expecting a long game like all the other San Andreas and uh, all the other GTA games well don't expect this game to be that long because it's not quite long you'll we'll probably get over in uh, about 10 to 12 to 15 hours I'm assuming though Rockstar actually mentioned it's a hundred hour game I'm talking about the only the missions if you're only going to do the missions uh, the main missions then probably in about 12 to 14 hours it should get over but if you're actually playing with the side mission about 20 Two, about two days. Wow. What the hell just happened there? Wow. What What's happening? Oh, come on. Bad connection. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, today my internet's not, not been doing quite well. So, that's pretty much it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. And recommendation. Go get the game. It's superb. Uh, that's all. And I hope it comes with the PC also. Because I'll be doing a lot of gameplay on that. So I'll see you next week. See you. Take care. Ta-ta.